This week we got a fresh a first look at the poster for the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. And on IGN they actually had an exclusive article um, kind of going into more of the movie and what we can expect, what we can expect of Sonic's final design in the movie. And we're going to dive into that right now. Um, now, according to Tim Miller, who is the um, executive producer, um, he addressed first thing that you'll notice was the, the fur that Sonic has on him. Um, he said, that was always stage one of adapting it to what the real world is and what a real animal would be like. It would be weird and would and it would feel like he was running around nude if he was some sort of otter-like thing. It was always, for us, fur, and we never considered anything different. It's part of what integrates him into the real world and makes him a real quick creature. Uh, he went on to talk about the shoes that are showing up, uh, because those are those different from the classic look of Sonic's shoes. We looked at every different variation of what shoes he's worn and we're trying to pay homage to that and also make a current and present day in what we think a Sonic of today would wear. Um, and this was, that was actually according to Neil Moritz, who's, who's another producer on the team. Um, now they, one of the things that we don't see in the poster are his eyes, or at least most of his eyes. And, um, According to, <laughs> this is according to Miller, he said, I don't think Sega was entirely happy with the eye decision, but these sorts of things you go, it's going to look weird if we don't do this, but everything is a discussion and that's kind of the goal, which is to only change what's necessary and stay true to the rest of it. He's not going to feel like a Pixar character would because I don't think that's the right aesthetic to make it feel like part of our world. Um, let's see if they said anything else they, they talked about. Um, okay, so not sure the context of this comment, but Miller further said, the first thing you need to do is put limits on it. If you can do anything, nothing is special. For me, it's always about keeping it grounded and keeping it realistic. We had some time to figure out the speed, what it looks like, what it feels like for a character to do that, and how it relates to our world. It, it took a little trial and error, but that's animation and figuring out what the effect looks like and what it does to the rest of the world around it. The speed changes over time because he evolves, because he can't do everything at the beginning of the movie. It's finding the visual language and figuring out how it's going to evolve over time. Um, let's see. So back to Moritz, he further said, obviously the poster can only show so much. That's a hint at what we're hoping to accomplish, but I think people are going to see things they've probably never seen before in trying to represent speed in this movie. We've worked so closely with the people at Sega who are kind of the gateways, uh, or, I'm sorry, who are kind of the gatekeepers of Sonic mm -hmm. to make sure we're lockstep. We're trying to make something that's for today that fans of different versions will love as well. Um, now, when asked about things like Tails and Knuckles being in the movie, Moritz said, I think the audience can expect to find some Easter eggs. Mm. We don't want to reveal any of that stuff, but I think there will be some very exciting things that fans of Sonic will get to see in this movie. And of course, the movie is due out November 8th of 2019. Nathan, your thoughts. Well, okay, so the shoes, first of all, I've heard a lot of people complaining about the shoes. To me, that's not a big problem because it's just you need to update that. The biggest thing for me is just the body and how he looks like a person with like a sonic head. And like, to me, it's like he says part of our world. He's not supposed to be part of our world. So like, I don't know. I am, I'm just very, very, very cautiously optimistic I'm kind of like, let's wait and see. But it doesn't look great. What do you think? This is terrible. <laughs> yeah? I am I mean, I'm the biggest <laughs> Sonic apologist, defender, whatever you want to call me. I'm very much an optimistic when it comes to st stuff. I'm not just an optimist when it comes to Sonic stuff. I'm an optimist when it comes to video game movies. And, uh... Moritz and uh, Miller, what, what, what is that their names? Uh, yeah. You guys are on track to ruin this. I mean, I, 
I cannot express how concerned and worried I am about this movie. This, honestly, it looks like this is going to be the Super Mario Brothers movie, but for Sonic. Oh, you mean like the one back in the... The 90s. Ugh. Yes. That, that honestly I th- is a fair comparison, probably. I think it's going to be that bad. Ugh. Uh, unless they unless they don't change this right away, they need to change this. This okay. I'm with you on the shoes. I don't yeah. I don't mind the People shoes. People are ripping on him, and it's like he's worn different kinds of shoes. Right. I'm good with the shoes. I don't like the way that his arms yeah. look. And his arms, by the way, this is okay. Sonic Boom was a better redesign than this one than this Sonic <laughs> with the scarf with the Hipster scarf Sonic. And, and the bandages and stuff. Um, and in that one, he had blue arms, not the not the, the, the flesh-toned arms. Yeah. And it looks like they're going yep. that route with this, too. It looks like he doesn't have gloves. Yeah, it, which he's would be got, lame. He's got really... Uh, I think I, I, I saw someone termed it as delicate fingers. Yes, it looks like he has delicate fingers. Um I don't like how human his legs look. It's like, it's really disturbing. No, what what you said was dead on with the whole, it looks like a naked furry person wearing like a giant Sonic head that you'd like buy like, at um, Walmart. Like Dead Mouse. You know, yeah. the, the EDM artist? Yes, like. yes, yes. <laughs> that's, that's about right. Um, it's just, uh. it's utterly revolting to look at. There was a, there was a fan made movie that came out a few years ago that was just put out on the internet. It had like a bunch of internet celebrities in it. Um, and that had like a CG Sonic and very much aesthetically more pleasing than this one. Uh, I'm okay with fur. Right. Okay? I mean, I, I feel like what he said was true for the most part about fur, you know, because otherwise what he'd be like smoothed over. That would, that would look weird. Right. And the thing is, is you can kind of, uh, even in the games, like they kind of do a bit of a CG texture on it where he's not really smooth per se. Like there's yeah. some like fur kind yeah, of texture of games, right. to it. Um, but to, I guess they, they keep that down to a minimum to keep with the original design. Yeah. And I'm fine with that. You can, you can do fur, although te- technically hedgehogs aren't really, they don't have a whole lot of fur. Yeah, they yeah. have quills. Mostly it's quote like on the backside, which it should be in the movies, ho- in the movie, hopefully. Yeah. But, like, if it's really detailed fur, that's going to be creepy. And the eyes, dude. Yeah. Wh- okay. What he's... So, it that's, sounds that's to me... That's the most, what he says about the eyes. The yeah. The comments he makes. Um, let, me, let me go over that. Oh, I don't think Sega was entirely happy with the eye decision, but these sorts of things you go, it's going to look weird if we don't do this. Okay. You want to talk about realism. We are We're literally talking about a blue hedgehog that stands on his hind legs and can run at supersonic speeds and you guys are worried that it's the eyes being connected as one kind of giant eye that's what's gonna mess it up yeah and they've already they established that i want to say they made some comments um oh earlier in the article um they, they describe it as this telling of Sonic's story sees him as a bit of a fish or a hedgehog out of water. Sonic finds himself in our present day world wherein he develops a relationship with James Marsden's John, uh, Tom Wachowski and also finds himself at odds with Jim Carrey's Dr. Robotnik. Oh, so Robotnik's so, not going to be from his world? No, but see, I like that idea. So it's like yeah. a Smurfs. It's like that Smurfs movie. I, I didn't bother with that. I never actually watched it either. I just know that the plot was that they came from like a portal of their own world to the real world. Smurf movies were terrible. Yeah. Point in case. Yeah, but but I'm okay with because sometimes Robotnik is from the same world as Sonic, and sometimes he's not. Huh. And I kind of like the idea of where he's not because what happens in the video games? He's trying to roboticize all of the animals and kind of enslave mm-hmm. the planet by uh, turning all the animals into robots. Yeah. That doesn't sound like a native of the world. Yeah. That's you know, true. would do that. That sounds like an outsider would come into it. Um, the Sonic comics that Archie uh, adventure series made kind of did that same thing. They, there was like this war between the lore that was was about like the war between I think they called them Overlanders, the humans, mm-hmm. and then you the animals didn't weren't really called animals, but they were at war with each other. And he 
he was kind of like this scientist who helped them win against the Overlanders and then he betrayed them. Mm-hmm. So I kind of like that idea um, of just him being, yeah, he's an outsider and he doesn't belong. Um, but yeah, this this movie, you know it is going to take place in San Francisco, right? Yeah, well, there's the leg spreading Oh gosh! To tell us about there, that. There's another, yeah. There's another poster that leaked that apparently is real, where he's sitting on top of the Golden Gate Bridge, and his legs are just kind of dangling out, and it's just there's too much deviant art fanfic online about that <laughs> to to make a poster like that. Okay, like you're just like tempting people at this point. Oh my goodness, I'm so worried about this. Yeah. I say cautiously, really, really cautiously optimistic because, like, I don't know, maybe, like, there's, to me, like, even if he looks different, like, to me, there's, like, a really slim chance that, like, he might fit, but, like, yeah, I don't know, either that or they change it, which would probably be the best option. and what they could do with his design is they could, if they, if they're worried about the connected eyeball, well, then you just bring his brow down so that they're not technically connected. But then when you look angry all the time? <laughs> I don't know. Um only if you kind of like bunch it up. Like you could you could you could actually make it so that if it bunches up then yeah. then sure. I mean or I mean it, it doesn't even have to be like that. Yeah. They could just be bigger. But the re- do you know the reason why his eyes are like that? No. Have you ever seen a hedgehog's face? Yes. Like Is it's, that kind of- it's that kind of design where it goes around their face. Yeah, I guess that's true. Like that. That's yeah. why his eyes are like, like that. Like it's the, because the a hedgehog. Different color goes around like that. Right. It's kind of yeah. like it's it's they have like the their their faces the have like color. a dark fur and then like there's a lighter yeah. almost like a fur barrier that goes around yeah, yeah. before their quills start. Mm-hmm. So it 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 works in real life. Why would you not? Yeah. It if, would work if his eyes look like those little little black beads. That's gonna be so creepy. And if he has sneakers, why wouldn't he have gloves? Yeah, the glove. See, I was trying to tell, and I really can't tell actually. Like he still could. He I don't could, know. It's I don't know. Say. From the picture, it doesn't. It doesn't look like it to me. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, but yeah, there's plenty of people who have kind of gone in and filled out details. One of them I thought was actually real, where it looked like a uh, like a real hedgehog, and I was just like, nope. No. No, when I saw a picture no. like that at first, I thought they had literally like brightened up the poster and like found it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, no way. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. This no, is no. all wrong. Um and then other people have actually been like, Oh, well, here's how you make it look better. And I wish they would hire these people. Yeah. I just I, I I'm really concerned when they say things like, Well, we, we have to make it work for the real world. No, you don't. You make him okay, look. <laughs> What kind of world do we live in where we get a very good-looking version, serviceable-looking version of Pokemon, of Pikachu? Pikachu looks closer to his design than this version of Sonic does. Like, how did we get to that point? Sonic has been around much longer than Pokemon has. I I don't know. That's an interesting question. I would say, like, it's a little different because... Pokemon, it's like all original, and then you have like Sonic's kind of weird. It's like he's an anthropomorphic hedgehog, so it's like you kind of want to make him look human-ish, to where he's you know standing on his hind legs and whatever. But you also kind of want to make him look like a hedgehog. I mean, I don't know. I could see how that would be a little more challenging than just a mouse, a pink mouse. You know, you know what I mean? Like, because well, it's it's all it's original and doesn't have to have ties to the real world. You know? Yeah, I I just I'm concerned that. Sonic has an iconic look. Yeah. Period. He had there, one. There's, there's a, <laughs> yeah, he had one. There's a reason why whenever they've done a major revision of him, they really don't mess a whole lot with it. Yeah, like even with Boom, it was it, just the blue arms and the scarf. Blue arms, and the scarf, and the, and the, for some and the bandages slash tape around his arm. Like, I guess that was a replacement for his gloves. Yeah. Wait, he didn't. He had gloves, didn't he? In Boom? I don't, I don't think he had the same gloves. Huh. But... I mean, he's he's a he's kind of an amalgamation between Mickey Mouse and Felix the Cat. That's the reason he looks yeah. the way he does, and that's why he's so appealing. You change the parts about him that are appealing. Guess what you're left with? Something that's very unappealing. Something creepy and downright nightmare. Yes, yeah. nightmare-inducing. 
I think someone just retweeted the the poster and they just said, I fear him. Yeah, I I don't know. I I just don't want to get too upset yet because it is, we have seen still very little. You know, and I think, I think I might've said this when we first saw the, uh, the, when the first trailer released of the most recent version of the Ninja Turtles live action movies, like a lot of people kind of were like, oh, they look so ugly. Oh, they, they look bad. I thought they looked fine, but looking back on it now, I do think that they are very gross looking. But then again, they are they are Ninja, Ninja Turtles. Have you seen those movies? Yes, I've seen both of them. Oh, now. okay. Did I, did I let you borrow them? I watched. Oh, the oh yeah, that's one right. On, They're like both on like Netflix. Yeah, yeah. Around. You can eat, watch them pretty easily. But yeah, I just ah uh, did about the whole the thing with like the very human looking eyes. Yeah. Instead of making them, I don't know, like the, the the turtles from the original, like the puppets, look better than the CG. I thought they should have been a little smaller, the turtles themselves. Oh, yeah, definitely that too. Because they're like Hulk-like. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I don't know. So, you're cautiously optimistic. Very, I'm, very cautiously. I am, I am very, very worried at this point. Again... You can you can watch previous videos and previous segments from this podcast where I defend the idea of video game movies. I defend Sonic very much so. This has me legit worried. Yeah. So if you're watching this on YouTube, let us know in the comments. Have you? Is this your hopes and dreams? Have you always wanted a hyper realistic Sonic? Then that's great for you i guess if you're out there let us know but you're gonna you, get what you want apparently yeah, if you agree with us let us know i, I don't know man They're as realistic not much to be excited for as realistic point. as a talking two-legged blue hedgehog can be. Yeah. supersonic hedgehog would be 